to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Spirituality. Men who love Jesus sincerely, not just as preachers, not just as preachers. I'll be here bowing down all of the days of my life. I'll be here bowing down all of the days of my life. I'll be here worshiping all of the days of my life. I'll be here worshiping all of the days of my life. Five years after marriage, no child. Very soon your family will call you and say, look, there is a man, he's not exactly bad. There's just something that we're used to it, it all of us, that's how you even came, self. And yet, in your visions, the interesting thing is that while Satan is doing all this nonsense, you will go back to bed and see that God will not change what he has been saying. Your womb will carry a prophet. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. And all kinds of suggestions are coming from everywhere. Satan is building that image. My brothers and my sisters, let me tell you this. Many times you feel stupid when you look around and it looks like you are not moving forward. Sometimes, respectfully speaking, loved ones and people who are sincere can look at you and say, look at this. You graduated 20 years ago. Till now, you have not even built a house. The only thing growing in your life is your age. Look at your classmate. He's even in Dubai. He's everywhere there. And sometimes you say, Lord, is this your plan for me? When Jesus was on that cross, you would have called him defeated. But something was happening that you did not see. He hung between the nails. And while he was hanging, Caesar, Herod, and Co. were saying, finally. And Satan was rejoicing. Since you will not bow, I will hang you on a tree. Either ways, you will have to listen to me. And he closed his eyes in death hell was rejoicing we killed the son of god suddenly a stranger steps into hades the place of the dead what are you doing here and he says when sinners die where do they go i became sin now i'm here and the cohorts of hell were all on him how else would he tell us that he is victorious until we, we we have to see it in a context and that was the context satan and the cohorts of hell paul was shown this in a revelation fighting to force him now to bow down and when the legal claims of justice were made the bible says he made a public show of them watch this triumphing over them in judgment he now meets face to face with the one he created and say lucifer your rebellion give me the keys this is the kingdom we are part of revelation chapter one i was he that was dead and now is alive and i have the keys that's where he got it from watch this 
when he held that key he went to Hades Apostle Peter taught us he preached to the saints right who had been waiting for this miracle of salvation they died in faith believing and when they believed he opened those prisons and he said let's go the hymn writer says up from the grave he arose when he came out he came out together with all those people watch this now the last enemy to be destroyed is death and he destroyed death and with power and glory the disciples were shaking you wasted our time we were part of this system now you brought a new kingdom we've lost everything we look like failures but when he resurrected he said all hail he entered the room without opening the door he's showing you the potentials of this kingdom that means look i used to think doors have to open for you to enter but i learned that there is still a way the door can still be closed and you will enter all hail he said all authority in heaven and on earth is given to me i know you look like failures for walking with me for three and a half years but you are about to see the power in this kingdom go with this authority go and disciple nations teach them everything i've taught you teach them that somewhere in their life they may see a similitude of defeat but they should wait teach them everything i taught you and while you teach them i am with you i will confirm your words with signs confirm your words with miracles hear me every time evil seems to prevail over good something is happening that is true for this nation that is true for africa can i tell you this our beloved country and our beloved continent there's an army rising up there's an army I'm telling you by prophecy and from scripture it will not end the way you are seeing it like this no see Jesus is not coming back as king of a weak beaten defeated church the kingdom that we serve for a long time it looks like it's a shame to be a child of God but I tell you we're about to enter an era of the apostolic move of God upon the earth economically politically this nation will experience something that it has never seen from independence i tell you this by the spirit of god listen where death ends is also where resurrection starts for now it does not yet appear what god is doing in your life sometimes as we preach the gospel as servants of the living god people even look at us as a nuisance to civilization what are you teaching calm down you may not see it yet but something is happening from the spirit of god through our spirit to your spirit man and your mind when satan wanted to propagate this demonic software of babylon it is a spirit then belief systems then destruction now that god is bringing deliverance it comes from the spirit through a new belief system it takes a while you may not look like it oh politician but god saved you from winning that election because there is one you are going to let me show you something we have read the end of the book we know what will happen hmm. revelations 18 
I know you look cheated. I know you look defeated. Brothers and sisters, look at me. Let me show you how Babylon will end. The Bible already told us the end. After these things, I saw another angel come from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. What an angel. Next verse. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is falling, is falling, and is become the habitation of devils and the hold of every foul spirit. Now follow carefully. I want to show you something and then we'll pray. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. So Babylon is a goddess. She sits upon a horse. Until you fraternize with her, you will not reign in this kingdom. She has called politicians. She has called men of God. She has called business people. You want to rise? It is not the way. It's not just about this school thing. <clears throat> Come. Let us get into a partnership. There are many people today that you continue to admire. Let me tell you the truth. Their excelling is based on their fraternity with Babylon. Let me show you the end of the story. It says, The kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. And the merchants, businessmen, there it is. The merchants of the earth are works rich. How? Through the abundance of her delicacy. Then I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her. This is the word for you now. You are almost getting there, but come out of her, my people. Why? That ye be not partakers of her sins, that ye, that ye receive not of her plagues. There is a plague that is coming on the earth. For her sins have reached unto heaven and God had remembered her iniquity. Be patient. Watch this. It says, reward her even as she rewarded you and double her according to this and that and that. Next verse. It says, how much she has glorified herself. The pride of this antichrist system called Babylon. And live deliciously. So much torment and sorrow give her. For she said in her heart, I sit a queen and I am no widow. And I shall see no sorrow. This is Babylon talking. Therefore shall her plagues come in how long? Death, mourning, famine. She shall be utterly burnt with fire. For strong is the Lord who judged her. Watch this. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning standing afar off for the fear of her torment saying alas alas that great city babylon that mighty city in one hour is your judgment come now watch this let me show you it says the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn for her and no man buyeth her merchandise anymore there are people buying it now. They are buying. Let me show you what she sells. Do you want to see what she sells? Babylon. Let's see what Babylon sells. Number one, the merchandise of gold. The merchandise of silver. Precious stones. Pearls. Fine linen. Purple. Silk. Scarlet. Tyan wood. All manner of vessels of ivory. All manner of precious wood, of brass, of iron, of marble. Pay attention to 13. Cinnamon. Odors. She sells anointing. She sells frankincense. She sells wine. She sells all kinds of graces. She sells abundance. She sells wheat. Let's start reading now. She sells beasts. She sells sheep. She sells horses. She even sells chariots. Let's, what else does she sell? Slaves. And what? All. They are her products. She can give you influence. The souls of men. As an artist, you can get into fraternity with her. And sing anything and the world must listen to you. Because she has sold you the souls of men. Where did she get those souls? The ones who came to do business with her. 
what shall it profit a man if he gains so as she's giving you there's something she collects and sells it to whoever wants now here's what the bible says i it says that you prosper is that true and be in health but make sure your soul does not become the commodity that goes in exchange i can tell you there are people who have sold their souls to the devil not by saying satan take no the more you leave god as you rise there is an exchange that is happening the more your fame increases and your fire goes down business people hear me respectfully speaking because it, this money thing sometimes brings a lot of arrogance one people have money i'm a billionaire i'm a millionaire whether in naira or dollars or whatever currency usually that state deafens people and they don't listen to anything again i am rich the mistake of i think the laudesian church they said i am rich i have no need for anything anything that would take your place in my life may it never come any door that would take your place in my life may it never open why have i taught you this today number one to help you see the motivation behind the evil in our society it is not a sociological issue it is not just an educational issue in truth from a sociological standpoint when we start addressing the ills in society we look at indices like education, quality of living, governance, and the rest, and we are right. But that is the reason why our law courts will continually prosecute criminals because there is a software. They go to prison, they come out, they return back, they come out, they return back, they come out, they return back because their bodies are merciless executors of a mindset that only the gospel can erode. The gospel in its entirety, the message and the value system. respectfully speaking and not not to create any sense with with every sense of honor and respect it is also the reason why families do not last it is statistic tells us i hope i'm right that one out of every two marriages may not last long and will end it doesn't mean the people are wrong it is that somebody somewhere or both of them have exposed themselves to a programming that is not consistent with the kingdom Is there a way to prosper with the dignity of kingdom integrity? Yes. What is the solution? It is called the gospel. Now you know that the gospel is not only a message that saves. You have received the message that saves. Now receive the ideology that transforms. The ideology that transforms you, the ideology that transforms your society. You can take that ideology like a software program it to your children if you never see them again you can trust what they will become the software is that powerful this is why we have to pray that god will raise people who are connected to kingdom first then we now spread them across the seven strata of human activities a politician that is not just a christian fanatic but one who understands the kingdom will be in a better position to legislate because number one he knows that god is the god of all flesh he's not in that office to represent christians he's in that office to represent god's creation so his ideas even though reference from scripture will be communicated in a way and a manner that makes all and sundry to advance in their lives fanatism is not an honor to any religion concerned it is still a deception by satan because it punishes all involved fanatism and religion does not profit one party or the other it looks like it profits one party but when the full scope of the deception is unleashed everyone involved suffers can i tell you this when god sent me to this city one of the graces and one of the instructions and one of the things that he gave is that by the grace of God, God wants to raise a people who are kingdom people, but people of influence. He will station them in strategic positions, but they will not just be people who are going around to earn a living. They are people who know that they are there on assignment. 
this is why he gave us the grace i'm not a politician i don't do politics i don't do partisan politics i'm a man of god but let me submit to you god has given us the authority that enthrones kings and removes them it is true what is our assignment tonight understand go back home now and see your child who is always stealing it is not the stealing you can flog that child till tomorrow go back as a priest not just a father call that child and say in addition to what you are going to receive the spirit that is behind you in the name of jesus christ are you seeing that now go back as a politician and enter your office stretch your hands over the national assembly and say in the name of jesus i stand not just as a an honorable member or a senator i stand with priesthood and i speak let the kingdom come within this fair as a business person don't just resume work tomorrow no everyone who is coming is is in one of two kingdoms you are not just there to buy and sell listen we must develop a new value system let me encourage all of you who own schools here i know there are a number of people here that own schools within this city and across this nation i beseech you by the mercy of god without any sense of fanatism introduce programs that correct destructive beliefs there are programs it doesn't matter whether people write it in the exam or not let there be programs that help people honesty morality and conscience spiritual growth leadership financial intelligence introduce this so that the children from infancy will begin to learn ethics of responsibility and they grow to become people who will change society and i pray that in the name of jesus god will empower people here i know that god has helped people but god will empower people that will set up quality leadership institutes that the day will come is out of those institutes who enthrone kings within territories merely saying one day you know a society will change is just a joke there must be programs and there must be intelligence applied to it have i wasted your time tonight the seven mountains religion god is helping us we who are the servants of god the mountain of family this is one area that god has raised marvelous vessels like pastor kingsley oh yes oh yes you cannot tell how many homes and how many lives have been put back in order because he honored that grace what of politics there are several politicians here god is counting on you not just to be a fanatic but to be a nation builder to come up with perspectives that are referenced from scripture that your presence there will ward off darkness you can be an apostle in politics then media arts and entertainment we've discussed it here can i tell you this my brothers and my sisters when we talk about the revival that is coming we're not necessarily just talking about crusades alone the context of the move of God coming will not just be spiritual in that area alone. Civilization has evolved. God will have to bring people with intelligence. We're already there at the crusade grounds. Everybody will not be there. We will keep casting the devils and healing the sick. But in addition, we'll keep helping people who will rise. Everybody here is connected to a family somehow. Go back and begin to change that software. Be intentional. You are a father. Don't sit down and allow your children to learn anything and grow and just give them money and cash. That's not an inheritance. You are a politician. Make up your mind. Don't just live and exhaust your tenure. Start mentoring others. Not just Godfatherism, mentorship. Teach them the ethics of governance. You are a businessman. Don't just, as we call it in Nigeria, the slang, chop alone and don't just give people money that's not the only thing they need most people don't need money most people need a transformed mind create a platform of four or five people and help them the value of influence 
is that you are able to lift others with that platform God gives you. I must walk the works of him that sent me while it is day. He leaves you with an assurance that the night cometh when no man will be able to walk again. But I tell you this, God has brought us to such a time as this. We must stand up and fight Babylon. We do not just fight with bows and spheres alone. Number one, we fight by introducing the gospel to the system. First as a message. The more people are saved, the more God can find many men that he can use to promote his agenda. Number two, we must bring the ideology of the kingdom. We must translate the ideology of the kingdom into programs, including sociological programs that the world can receive. Many of them will not receive it from a standpoint of fanatism. It must not be a Christian's program. It must come a value system reference from scripture that is intentional about changing people. Three things you should never fight as I round up. Number one, do not fight the value of spiritual connection. You will lose in today's world. The strength of every man is in his spiritual connection. Number two, do not fight any opportunity to learn leadership. Leadership has nothing to do with titles. You must know how influence is produced. It is the key to making men buy into your ideologies. Number three, do not fight relationships. Be fruitful means re be relational. Everything multiplies because of relationship. It is based on your relationship with the Holy Spirit that you grow. Number four, do not fight economy. Please do not fight economy. Do not fight economy. Don't go around saying all these people preaching prosperity. Be careful. I know there are imbalances, but don't join the devil in, in misleading believers. A territory that is not economically empowered will be the territory that serves. There is a dimension of the gospel that requires economic empowerment. And I know that God is going to raise people. I'm unashamed about it. Your heart must not be there. Your heart will be with Jesus. And then he will give you resources that are equivalent to the resources of a nation. And you will do wonders. As for me, I made a vow and a covenant with God. That as a spiritual leader, I will not just lead a people who are passionate towards God's signs and wonders, miracles. That's wonderful. But in addition to that, I believe in influence. And then inculcating value systems that can transform society abuja and this nation and this continent is too small if god can find people enough who are connected spiritually understand leadership people who understand this kingdom networking and then people who are economically empowered this will be satan's nightmare this will also be the nightmare of the antichrist system are you ready to pray father let your kingdom come lift your voice and pray let your kingdom come let your kingdom come let your kingdom come in the name of jesus christ now we understand the motivation behind the ills in our lives ills in our society ills in family that more than just the things that happen more than crime and decadence and cultism and corruption there is a spiritual problem that must be addressed the spiritual problem number one is rejecting jesus and rejecting his value system and that has come because of a programming a mindset fortified by demon spirits called the antichrist system is a babylonian strategy Babylon, babylonian here means it is a spiritual context lift your voice and pray we are that generation that will not bow in the name of jesus yet we will rise we will excel and represent the purposes of the kingdom because of our presence in this city advancement of all sorts will find expression because of our presence in this nation in governance in politics go ahead and pray we decree and declare in the name of jesus the christ of god it may take time but we submit to the training it may take time but we submit ourselves to the dealing this apostolic and prophetic order of kingdom advance
Are you praying? Hallelujah. Now, please listen. It is because of the existence of this system that he gave us power over and power against. It will take more than just advice. It will take more than words to subdue this demonic influence that has followed families and has followed individuals. The last prayer and we're done. Father, the level of grace I need for this season, grant it unto me. The level of grace that is required that in and through my life the powers of darkness are dislodged from the life of my children, from the life of my husband, from the life of my wife, my business. In the name of Jesus, I obtain that and grace him. Go ahead and pray. It takes power. This is a kingdom of power. Demonic forces are real. Oppressions of darkness are real. You don't just need power to solve spiritual problems. You need power to solve political problems. You need power to solve economic problems. You need power to solve family problems. You need power to solve sociological problems. To solve employment, unemployment problems. Elohim Adonai, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Elohim Adonai, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Hallelujah. Please don't miss next week. I'm going to be sharing something very, I, after the miracle service, I'll be sharing something powerful. The next series that we're getting into, we're going to be dealing with the kingdom. And God is going to be showing us a lot of things. You will see the predictability of territorial transformation. That it is not very difficult to transform a territory. It looks hard only because of the complication of the men that, the men that are there. As many as there are students in different universities, you can predict the graduation of the students. You can predict that medicine, whether it's in um, 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 ABU or Unilag or, or whatever university, because there is a common program. Someone in Lagos does not have to come down to University of Abuja to be a graduate of medicine. Once he has the program there, right from where he is, he can change. It's not whether people are living in Abuja or Lagos, wherever. Once we can find the content methodically arranged that transform people, everybody, it doesn't matter what church you now go to. I'm praying that you will get to that time where you don't have to go to specific churches to know you are secured. That at least any major church you can sit down and know like a university that I'm still safe there. That two people from different churches can talk kingdom and know that it was the same curriculum that was used to build us. God's idea is not to have everybody follow one man of God. No. He mm -mm. will not get the job done. It may show that the individual is successful, but the job will not be done. God's idea is to see that his value system is represented everywhere so that believers don't have to go too far to find him everywhere from family you find it there business you find it everywhere you can find his value system i pray for you in the name of jesus that these truths you have learned let it speak over your life this week in the name of jesus christ please keep standing everyone we have just a minute we will always do this for as long as we live let's minimize movement very quickly in one or two minutes there are people here you've heard me talk about two kingdoms the kingdom of satan darkness and the kingdom of god's dear son you are here and you are saying apostle whilst listening to you the holy ghost began to speak to me that is important i make this commitment for jesus or you are here and you are saying i've given my life to jesus but i need a genuine renewal this is home for you. If you belong to any of these categories and you following online also, all the overflows down to the basement, outside, doesn't matter where. I'm going to ask those who are inside here and around the balcony, just make your way. We're going to start clapping for them. Please, you want to make Jesus Lord of your life. Don't sit down and wait for anybody. He brought you here. God bless you. Let's celebrate them as they come. Let's celebrate them as they come. Run to Jesus. Koinonia, is this the best you can do? 
allow them come to jesus this can be the beginning of a new and a genuine journey a journey to transformation a journey to kingdom relevance celebrate them they are still coming celebrate them they are still coming god bless you god bless you apostle i'm not sure if i'm saved i think i love jesus but i'm not sure join them join them very quickly if you are not sure hallelujah praise the name of the lord join them very quickly are they still coming we have just a minute or two left very quickly god bless you 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 now listen it matters that souls are saved through our lives soul winning is not a church thing you can win souls anywhere at all are we together thank you so much for all of you who are in front here those following from any nation uh, watching from every whatever television station you're connecting to and then by way of internet please join in this prayer if you want to make Jesus Lord of your life all those in the overflows outside just stand in faith as we pray this prayer please lift your hands to Jesus if you can those in front say this after me let it be very loud and very clear say Lord Jesus one more time say Lord Jesus I believe in you that you are the son of God tonight I have heard your word I make Jesus my Lord my Savior and my King I declare that the power of sin Satan hell and the grave is broken over my life I receive eternal life into my spirit I also receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness and I declare that I reign in life amen keep your hands lifted father we present to you these ones that you died for it's an honor to lead them to Jesus someone help this woman she didn't pray that prayer anybody help her and you can just help her just speak to her just lead her in the prayer our time is gone father in the name of Jesus we thank you for these precious people and we declare in the name of Jesus that the grace to live victorious Christian lives may that grace be released upon you now dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the phase of development lord grant me the discipline 